G'day Sagittarius, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do a quick mini read today, just to fill in till December starts. Because I got my dates wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, just a little mini read with my mini decks, just to tie you over until December starts. And then I'll have the normal big love energy readings out. Alright. Let's go. What does Sagittarius need to know? Six cards, please. Mm. Knight of Cups, Water Energy. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands. The Chariot. Ooh, Knight of Swords, Air Energy. Ooh, eight of Wands. Oh, there we go. And the Justice. Okay. Bottom of the deck is, ooh, Nine of Swords. Ooh. Six of Pentacles. The World. Well, that's good to see. The Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, Seven of Swords. The Hierophant and the Two of Cups. Three of Wands. Hmm. So stressing up all night about something that wasn't balanced. Wanting to close out that cycle to have some sort of stability here, but you're cheating yourself. Or well, someone's cheating, lying, stealing in a commitment here, which is, yeah. Breaking the rules, I'm hearing, when it comes to love. Making someone wait, keeping secrets. Yeah, someone's waiting to invest here, feeling like a wounded warrior while someone else is being selfish off having new beginnings. <coughs> Saji, what's going on here? So, we've got the Knight of Cups. Someone coming in to offer love, but they're at a crossroads with the Two of Wands. Wanting to charge forward with the chariot with something. Mm, it's the Serpent of Wands. Someone's guarded here. Knight of Swords coming in, flying in with some sort of truth. Mm, might be a bit harsh. But then we've got back and forth communication and justice. Uh, things balancing out. Alright, tell me about the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Five of Wands. Mm. So someone's coming in with this Cup of Love, and it's new love, or it's an offer of the Ace of Cups. But you're at a crossroads, which is the next card, because you're conflicted about it. Could be worried about competition, um, but you're conflicted about it. Yeah, you're feeling stuck about it. You're not sure. Waiting for that wheel to turn on this, seeing if it is going to turn in your favour and be the Ten of Cups. Or will you walk away? Or will they walk away? Mm. You're manifesting that Nine of Swords because you can't decide. Yeah... I think you're feeling a bit guarded with your heart, even though, yeah, because of disappointment. <sighs> well, you might have some healing you need to do. The star's trying to jump out. And careful what you wish for, I just heard. All right. Tell me about the two of wands for Sagittarius. Can you tell us more about the two of wands for Sagittarius? Ooh, we got the devil card. Stand it, that crossroads is not good for you. 
that, well, look, it's causing that nine of swords. Yeah, you need to make a decision. And make sure it's the right one, too. Yeah, this indecision's not good for you. Yeah, nine of wands. You, you're feeling like a wounded warrior here. The chariot, you need to choose which way you want to go and move forward to calmer waters. Because you, you're just fighting to defend yourself, but you're stuck in your head about what this, what's going to make you happy here. Just make yourself happy, Dal. Tell me about the chariot for Sagittarius. Got the Wheel of Fortune. And the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> so you want to charge forward triumphantly into a new abundance cycle. Have the wheel turning your favour, but you're holding back. You're holding back from moving on forward. You've got this new wonderful abundance cycle about to begin and you're holding back. Queen of Cups, water energy, have this abundance of love that you want to give the world. You need to close out the cycle of third parties and having, you know, having to defend yourself all the time, having to stand your ground, getting stuck in your head, not knowing which way to go. This is the chariot, but you've got this way or that way. You need to move on from that. Because you've got this awesome love you want to give and you want that wheel to turn and move forward, but you're holding back. All right. Tell me about the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius. The Magician. You're trying to manifest just to fly forward. <laughs> the truth and... The truth is... Yeah, the truth. You want to fly forward. That's the truth. And that's what you're trying to manifest. Mm. Manifesting, trying to manifest something too fast, I feeling. Yeah, and look, in the Knight of Pentacles, the slower, that's the fastest night, and this is the slowest night. Slow and steady, stability. Ace of Wands, that's Earth Energy. Um, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, yep, yeah, it's going to take hard work. To get this truth with truth and clarity, following this passion, slow and steady, taking putting in that hard work. And so after that, the Empress, then something will grow. You can't just manifest it like that, and and it'll just come to you. It, it's not going to come flying in. Like that, you got to make the effort. You can't hold back and expect that wheel to turn. Tell me about the Eight of Wands for our Sagittarius. Okay, we have the Fool, the Star. And the Nine of Wands. <sighs> Travel, communication, a leap of faith, wishes or healing, and the Wounded Warrior. This is fast back and forth communication. It's also action. I'm really getting that you just want things to go really fast. You just want to jump off that cliff. But you need to heal this wounded warrior within yourself. And I think it's going from the eight to the nine. So I think if it's going to, if it goes too fast and you jump off that cliff, because it's your wish, you're going to end up wounded.
Seven of Cups, confusion and illusion here. Yeah, you're a bit confused about how to get this Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Wow, and the world. Yeah, Three of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there'll be a painful ending if you try and just go with passion and stand your ground. But, you know, you're doing all this partying, that's got to, if that's, you know, that's got to close out. It's not all just a party. That's not how it happens. There'll be offers of stability, you know, starting out as the page and growing into an emperor to get to live in that Ten of Pentacles house. It takes work, like we said, it's slow and steady work. It's not going to happen instantly. Well, perhaps you're closing out a cycle of working. But it's going backwards. Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Well, he lives there. And then we've got the page. Three of Cups. Perhaps you're retiring. Um, but yeah, you're confused about something. There's confusion and illusion here. Y you need to heal that wounded warrior. That tired and having your guard up. and Maybe talk to someone. Take that leap of faith. Get communication from someone to help heal this. Because you're holding yourself back from whatever you want. But you're wanting this to come in instantly. But while you're at that crossroads, there's temptations. Yeah, you're wanting this communication. Eight of Wands again. But there's indecision here with the Two of Swords. So you want it, but you don't want to do the work for it? What's going on, Saji? You know better. Yeah, the Empress. She's no slouch. Yeah, she does a healing. <laughs> Four of Swords at the bottom. Alright. He puts in the work three a bit now. <laughs> it's just backing up what I'm saying. Alright, stop that. I'm not going to look. Tell me about justice for Sagittarius, please. What is justice here? So we have Ace of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Page of Wands. So fire energy with the Page of Wands. So the scales will go however they go to balance things out. You want this stable new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. you got to make that judgment call. And... I mean, one's a uh, passion, but it's also action. You need to make that first step as a young person. <laughs> this is like the beginning, because it's a page. Take action. Take those first steps towards what you want. It's not going to come flying in. You've got to take those steps, that baby steps, I'm hearing. Start out with the Ace of Pentacles. Make that judgment call to take action. Get yourself balanced. Yeah, because look, the Empress is back again. Something that will grow. It will grow. King of Cups, water. Justice again. And the Six of Swords, the Lovers, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yep, see, you you have the potential to grow something here. <sighs> Control your emotions when it comes to this. Stay balanced. Move to calmer waters about whatever this choice is you're going to make if you are going to choose to go for this Ten of Pentacles. Perhaps even keep it to yourself. The actions that you're going to take. King of Wands. Um, fire energy. King of Pentacles. Earth energy. Control your actions. Get stable and grounded. 
I have stable messages. Yeah, there'll be disappointments, but you'll be strong and you'll get through them. Yeah, towers might fall, but you just pick yourself up, page of cups, start again. Mm, that indecision. Communicate with people, get the information you need, leave out in the cold what doesn't serve you. And you'll have your ten of cups. You're happy ever after, whatever that may be. Oh, it's an interesting read for you, Saji. Hmm. All right, let's get some guidance and advice. Guidance and advice for Sagittarius. Ooh. Okay, fly back in the basket. Fly back in my tray. Ooh, five of pentacles. You wanted to fly far away from this five of pentacles. And the king of pentacles. Yeah. Two different ants. They landed like that. One over here, well, was over there. It was that way. <laughs> and this one was that way. <laughs> so, yeah. King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Five of Pentacles, complete opposites. So I guess that's your choice, isn't it? The King of Pentacles, grounded, stable, reliable, committed, Commits to his work, commits to his family and wife. Like, he's committed. He's hard-working. Or do you want to just be left out in the cold and have rags and be cold and living off handouts because you didn't do the work? It's your choice. You can't just magically manifest it and it will just come flying in. If you're not putting in the work here. There's that Knight of Swords again. I was just talking about it. Air energy. Two of Wands. Three of Swords. Seven of Wands. Queen of Swords. And the Death card. So, yeah. There's things that need to end here. Stuff you need to cut out. And you need to come correctly. Yeah, you'll be defending defending yourself against different things and there will be heartbreak. But you have to make that decision and cut out the things that don't serve you. Yeah, because you can't just be sitting around thinking you're going to be a king of pentacles in a king of pentacles house. Yeah, because look, here it is again. After you cut things out and close, end things that need to end... Take that action, even just a small step towards that stability. There's that Queen of Pentacles. Walk away from what doesn't serve you, or that cheating line stealing, trying to do things shonky, because that will just bring a painful ending. You need to have a really good think about this. How are you going to defeat the competition in this? Doing something that you love. Mm, is it about love? I'm seeing it more as work. But maybe it's not. Mm. Love offer coming in. Yeah. make Not making a decision at the crossroads is making it toxic. You want it to move forward, but you're holding back. You want it to come flying into you, but it's not happening because, well, there needs to be a leap of faith, have this communication, heal things between you two. Feeling like, you know, your walls are up. But things will balance out if you do communicate. There'll be an offer of stability. It's your judgment call if you want to take action on it. Do you want to be committed to this person or do you want to be left out in the cold? Do you want this love or are you going to fight it? It's up to you. There'll be a painful ending if you try and be shonky about it. Dodgy. Someone will walk away. Cause that, cause, but if you want stability, then take that action, even if it's a small step. Transform this in, and come correctly. Ooh, Queen of Swords. Yeah, she doesn't want to <laughs> come correctly. Um, but you're going to have to um, stand up to this and make a choice. Taking act, taking the truthful action here, or you're going to cause heartbreak. What do you want to do? 
It's like, do you want to commit to this person or are you going to leave them out in the cold? Well, your advice is make that bloody choice. Because <laughs> you've got an empress here that's holding back love. Oh, you're being an empress and holding back love. So you're holding back your own potential here, just like the chariot. Holding back the wheel from turning when you want to move forward. And it's stressing you out. All right, Sage. Well, that's your reading again. I'm get these are getting longer. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll do the proper reading in a few days once we hit December. All right. All the best. Take care. Good luck, and I'll catch you later.